Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to continue our beginner's guide for Samplitude Pro X6 and we're talking about editing. Let's dive in! There's a lot of things going on in the editing phase when building a song and uh, mixing and producing it. What we are going to attack today is how can I um, move something, remove something, uh, maybe copy and paste it somewhere else. So that's what we're doing. In next videos, uh, there's the object editor that will be of interest and also uh, the take composer. So dealing with takes. If you record many times on the same uh, track, you can access those other recordings that are hidden behind, either with the Take Composer or by choosing Takes when you click uh, on the track. So that's something that we will explore in the next video. But for now, simple editing, let's go to the computer. So in the last video, we learned about some mixing and uh, we used a lot of the mixer that you see at the screen. Um, and now uh, what we should do, um, since sometimes we do not record perfectly every tracks uh, for one take, <laughs> we are gonna check uh, the editing uh, using the timeline here and uh, the tracks that you see. Uh, so I've recorded a um, little jam. This is just a recording of drums, bass and acoustic guitar. And we will try to uh, edit things, meaning not just adjusting uh, the frequencies or the levels or stuff like that, but uh, get to the recording and modify what it is. Actually, editing with the DAW is much like a word processor. You can copy, paste, remove, um, move stuff. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So obviously the first thing that uh, you should know is how the tracks work. Uh, if you go, of course, those are what affects the track, the whole thing. And um, those are the objects. And let's say if I click on this object, you see the color change to show which object I selected. And if I double click, I can edit this object separately. This is going to be probably in the next video, uh, a few tricks to do with that. A thing you should know is that if you click at the bottom of an object, it will select the object. If you click on top and you drag, it will make a selection. Okay, so sometimes we want to um, make a selection, but at the bottom it won't work. Okay, it will move the objects. That's not good. And if many tracks have been recorded at the same time, like the drums, if you click at the bottom of an object, it will select the whole thing. If you want to do something on only one of those objects, you may right click and ungroup objects. Then if you click, you get only one. But uh, the first thing that maybe you would want to do is remove some silence. Uh, let's say in the beginning of a track, if you uh, let a click run and then you started to play afterward, you will uh, remove the first part, maybe the silence part. Or maybe the noisy part, if the click went through the headphones to the mic and have been recorded. So let's check here the track of bass. If I want to remove um, the silence, I could grab this part at the bottom. And uh, if I do not snap to anything, I can move the beginning of the object like this. And this little part here is for doing fade-ins when you are at the beginning of an object and fade outs where you, when you are at the end. So if I grab that, click and hold, I can do a fade in like that. 
A thing that you might want to activate is this option here, which is auto crossfade. So if I make a cut, let's say right here, I hit T for a uh, cut. And then if I zoom in, you'll see that it did a crossfade automatically, which you can move like this by holding your left button. Uh, on this little triangle. And you can change the shape of uh, the crossfade right here. So the length. If you right click on it, you have some options. You have different shapes. Uh, lin linear crossfade. See the, ch the shape changed. And of course I can go asymmetrical. So one will be independent of the other. And um, also, you can go in the crossfade editor and specify the defaults. So, how many samples or millisecond um, the default crossfade will be created. So, pretty handy. And actually, if you don't do cross crossfade, you may you might have some uh, little noises that will appear like this. If I, you see, this note is a bit cut by itself. So if I play, you see, it, it did a little click. Okay, so if I do a crossfade instead, since my auto crossfade is activated, I just had to move it a bit and then um, it created the crossfade and we listen again. If simply I want to remove a part of an object, I just need to select it. Let's say I want to remove this node. Select it. And then you can uh, hit delete on your keyboard. Like this. Or if you want to move that note, you just select it and hit T again. So if there's a selection, it will cut before and after the selection. Like this. And then you can grab it and move it. Okay. Of course, the end has been trunked uh, because there's something afterwards. So I can grab the handle again and move it. Okay, let's listen. Not bad. And of course, I can do my crossfade here. Don't go too far. You'll come back with what it was. Okay. Right, editing part two. So let's listen a bit further in that recording. Okay, there's some mistake here. Uh, maybe we can take a hit somewhere. Okay, that's it. We're gonna take this symbol it and move it. Okay, so this this measure. Hit T, then select, then copy, and we will bring that right here, and Control V. Let's inspect if it is in time. It seems to be in time, and let's play. Yeah, not bad. Of course, you are editing not only um, for mistakes, but maybe for a creative choice as well. So let's see. Let's say I don't like a drum fill. 
I could replace it with another one. And that's why I recorded a longer part of drums and improvising a few uh, uh, fills just for that pur purpose. So I don't have to go back at the drums many times. And since I was there with the setup, mics and preamps and everything, nothing changed, then it's a good time to record more stuff and keep it just in case. Let's say this fill. Okay, let's let's pretend this one we don't like. So I'm gonna remove what what is there, like this. And it's a complete measure. So delete. And then we're gonna listen to our fills that I've recorded later on. Yeah, let's let let's take this one. So zoom in. You could, um, of course, snap on beats and go the old measure. Okay, of course, select all the tracks like this. T, copy. And then we're going to go where we want to replace it. Which is right here. Paste. Okay. And this let's listen hey it works the first note is a bit um, hidden so we're gonna move the crossfade a bit like this okay and let's listen again or I can Keep the first part like this. All right, that's it with this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go into the description and click on the link uh, for the merch. Of course, if anything fits your bill, it will help the channel grow and I give you better content. Other ways to help the channel is to play as many videos as you can. And of course, share the videos. It's always a great help.